Hi everybody, this is Philip at NYC Music Services, back with another tutorial. This one is on the text and typography improvements in Sibelius 7. These improvements are new to version 7 and won't work in earlier versions of the program, such as Sibelius 6. Before we begin, a brief note about our upcoming Sibelius training sessions in New York City, where you'll learn tips like these and much more on Friday, July 20th, 2012, at the Juilliard School, from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Please visit our website at www.nycmusicservices.com for complete details about the sessions and for registration information. We hope to see you there. Now, in Sibelius 7, we have a great many more options to control the appearance and design of text than we did in earlier versions of the program. Let me show you a few of those. First of all, in order to control text in Sibelius, we need to go to the Text tab in the ribbon. Simply click on that. We all know how to create some text. Let's do that right now. Click on Styles. Create whatever text you'd like. In this case, we'll create some technique text. And type it in. If you'd like to change whatever style you've entered from one type of text to another, in Sibelius 6, we used to have to go to the Properties window. Now you can just go to the ribbon and pull it from this drop-down menu. Let's change this to the box text. Note that if you're selecting staff text, only staff text will be available in this drop-down. Similarly, if you want to modify system text, only system text will be available in the drop-down. If you want to edit a particular text style, click on it and go to the ribbon and click Edit Text Styles, this little arrow here. The shortcut for that is Option Shift Command T. If your item is already selected, the particular text style will actually already be present in the window. Click on it to edit it. Here are some of the options available in Sibelius 7. You can control the line spacing, gap after paragraph, tracking, horizontal scale, which simply stretches out the text, vertical scale, which also stretches out and vertically, and the angle, we'll get to that in a moment. You can also control the border, the indentation, horizontal and vertical position, and whether system text repeats on certain pages. Let's hit cancel and leave it the way it is for now. Let's create some new text. Again, let's create some technique text. We'll say yes, and we'll type some text in. Okay, so you've noticed a few things. One, the text is in the way of the music. Also, we really don't want the text to make its way all the way to the edge of the margin on the page. Here's a new option in Sibelius 7. You can click on the text and click any one of the handles that show up on the side or the corners of the text frame. And by dragging it, you create a text frame that can flow text. Note that if you create a text frame that is too small to accommodate all the text, you'll get a little red X here. That's Sibelius's way of telling you that you have more text than is currently showing in the text frame. So what you need to do is obviously increase the text frame to accommodate all of it. Note also that if you want to change everything in this to say boldface, just change it in the ribbon. Change the font. perhaps the size, justification, that can all be controlled in the ribbon on a case-by-case -case basis. If you don't like your changes, simply go to Appearance, Reset Design, and the defaults will be reset. If you'd like to change the global appearance of everything in a particular text style, we actually have to go to Edit Text Styles. Remember now that this is technique text. Let's go to Styles, Edit Text Styles. 
Let's create a new text style. We actually don't want to change the default technique, but let's say we want to call this technique choir. So this is a, a technique based on, or a text style based on technique. Maybe we want this to be slightly smaller. And perhaps we want this to also always be justified to the center. Let's go to horizontal position and we'll say specify horizontal text alignment centered. This is but one of the many options you can control on a global basis. We'll get out of this dialog. Now remember, in order to change the actual text style of this, we go to the ribbon, pull it from the drop-down menu, and now our text is a little smaller and it's also justified to the center. Okay, another new option in Sibelius 7 is to create angled text or even vertical text. In Sibelius 6 we had to do this with lines. Now we actually have true support for this. Let's again create some um, technique text. Let's go to Edit Text Styles. We'll create a new text style, say yes. This we'll call Technique Vertical. We'll change the angle of this, and as I click this you see the angle changing. We'll say 90 degrees, so it's a true vertical orientation. Click OK. Again, change it in the ribbon. Move it into place. If this is giving you trouble, you can always right click it or control click on Mac and turn magnetic layout off so that you get it exactly in the position that you want without worrying about Sibelius trying to repel other objects. Finally, let's review a new and really groundbreaking improvement in Sibelius 7 hierarchical text styles. In Sibelius 7, each text style has the ability to be a child of a certain text style. What do I mean by this? Let's take a look at boxed text. Again, select it, go to Edit Text Styles, and we'll just say Edit. You see here that it tells me that boxed text is based on plain text. And the font is Times New Roman, but that's unchecked. Anything that is unchecked means that it will automatically inherit the properties of its parent text style. So I can't change that. Now, if I were to change this, I could click on font, and then I could control whatever font I wanted. But I don't want to do this. What I want to do is actually change the parent font, which is plain text. And you'll see with technique text and some of the others, they're all children of plain text. Even lyrics is based on plain text. So let's go to that plain text font. And now you see this checkbox here. Let's say instead of Times New Roman for my main text font, I want it to be something different, like Gil Sands. As soon as I click OK, notice how, and click Close, notice how all of our text that's based on plain text changes to Gil Sands. I didn't have to go through individually and change the expression text, or the lyrics, or the technique vertical, or the technique choir, or the tempo, box text, they're all based on the parent text. This is a very good way of quickly making font changes to suit perhaps somebody's individual taste or a publisher's requirements. Hope you enjoyed this brief overview of text and typography enhancements in Sibelius 7. Please visit our website at www.nycmusicservices.com, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash nycmusicservices, and don't forget about those training sessions Friday, July 20th, 2012 at the Juilliard School in New York City.